Here we are, back again, motorcycle test kitchen time, and I've been using this Touratech Aventuro 2 helmet for about six months now, and it's time to do a complete and thorough review of it. So a lot of times, um, you know, online we hear about spoiler alerts and all that kind of stuff, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and spoil this review and tell you right away, I love this helmet. Um, now, I know that I told you I really liked the last helmet that I reviewed, the Simpson Ghost Bandit, but if you remember, I had some criticisms about that helmet not being really suitable for hot weather use. Uh, this helmet, the Aventuro, is absolutely suitable for hot weather use. It has amazing ventilation, and not just because it's an adventure style helmet uh, with that, that long beak there, but because the ventilation is just excellent. The vents work 100%. The chin vent throws a lot of air. Um, the brow vents, there's three of them, one on your forehead, one on each side, uh, move a lot of air through the helmet. The one criticism I've got for the chin vent is it really just pushes air onto your face. It doesn't push any air up onto the inside of the face shield. So if your face shield fogs up, if you don't put the pin lock in, uh, opening the chin vent is really not gonna help you with that. But, the first click open, and it's still kind of firm even after six months of use, the first click open clears the, clears the fog right away and uh, makes it work great right out of the box. So uh, if you don't want to put the pin lock in, you don't really need to put the pin lock in. It works just fine. I'll show you that on the close up how easy that was. And it, it stays pretty good. There's no, there's a couple of click detents, one all the way up, one about there, one there, and then you're closed. But it holds pretty good. The chin vent works easy. Two positions. It can sometimes be hard to get it in the middle position, but once you get it, it's fine. The other two vents, you will have to show you when uh, when I pull the brim off. There's one. There's one of these on each side. And then there's one under here that you can't really see uh, with the brim on. The fit and finish on this helmet is fantastic. The paint is really high quality. Black, white, red, blue. Um, on the back here it's got the DOT sticker and the ECE sticker. There you go, your certifications. Um, the inside lining is really nice. It's plush. It's hypoallergenic. It, uh, it's very comfortable, it works really well, it doesn't stink, um, I don't know if they did that on purpose, if that's built into it, uh, but it doesn't generate a lot of odor. Um, the one, uh, I, so I mentioned the, uh, the chin vent's a little hard to use, um, it doesn't push air up on the front uh, inside of the visor. These are really minor things, I only have minor complaints about the helmet. So. Um, you know, it's it's a really good helmet, which it ought to be. This helmet costs six hundred and fifty dollars, so uh, for that price point, I expect a really good helmet, and I got one. Now, this is a goggle stay. Uh, I don't really need it because I don't use goggles. I'm not an off-road rider. I like the styling, and I like that the chin protrudes out a little bit so that it's not uh, right up against my face. That gives me a really claustrophobic feeling when I wear a regular helmet. It's one of the things I really liked about the Simpson. Um, and it's one of the things I really like about this. Plus, it looks really cool. Um, and, you know, looking cool. If, why would you ride a motorcycle if you don't look cool? Anyways, um, I'm going to do a little bit of a close-up on a couple things. Um, one of the other kind of minor complaints that I have is that the chin strap uh, is really long. That's a very long chin strap. Uh, but it works on the double D-ring closure just fine. And there's a snap to secure it, so that works great. You can see here the emergency poles to get the chin pads out should you be in some kind of a crash and uh, have to have a first responder remove your helmet. As you can see, I've got a comm system on here. That's a Senna 30K, super easy to install. The unit itself mounts to the edge of the helmet, so it slides up in between the shell and the liner. And that was easy to install. There's cutouts on the inside, one on each side for the speakers. And uh, it's hard to get on video, but I'll get a picture of it. 
inside the chin bar, there's a cutout for the microphone. And that's really kind of the thing to remember about the Aventuro 2 is the attention to detail is extreme. There is nothing that they overlooked with this helmet, even to the point where they put a tiny little round cutout for a comm system microphone inside the chin bar. Absolutely brilliant, and it really it gets the microphone off your lips. Uh, it does make the, the, if you're talking to somebody, you can hear a little bit of noise. And that's kind of my other one, my other kind of, if you're going to have a major complaint about this helmet, it's that it is a bit noisy. Now, the reason it's a bit noisy is because of the design. It's got a much wider opening for your head, a much bigger opening because of the protruding chin bar. They do put a chin dam in there that helps, but as functional and efficient as the visor is, the brim, whatever you want to call it, it does introduce noise to the equation. And what it does is it gives you kind of a low end rumble. So it's not a high pitch noise, it's kind of a you know lower end uh, rumbly sound. Now one thing that the visor doesn't do is catch the wind and twist your neck. Even at relatively high speeds, you can turn your head and the wind flows right through. It's a little higher underneath than I think a lot of them are. See if I can get a close up of it for you. It's a little higher up off the helmet than a, lot of hel than a lot of these are. And I think that really helps the wind flow, which then eliminates that, that jerk that you might feel when you turn your head to look over your shoulder. There's a lot of space, negative space, in the visor, which lets the air flow through really easily. And you can see this is a removable extension, and then the visor itself comes off, or the brim comes off, the visor comes off. I'm gonna actually do that because I prefer to use the helmet in what they call street mode or on-road mode. And to do that, you've got to um, take off the brim and put a couple other parts in. It's a little bit fiddly. The thing comes with a lot of little plastic parts, but they're all useful. So there's, uh, and I'll show them to you here in a second. I'll tell you what they are, and then I'll show you in when we cut away. There's a camera mount that goes under the top and secures to the screw on top that runs, that holds the brim in place. There's a, uh, for each side, there's a pair of camera mounts that you can uh, secure a camera to. There's also a pair of, um, they call them goggle stays or something like that. I'd have to look in the instructions again to see what they're exactly called, but it's a little round thing that I assume if you use goggles, you have one of these things that holds your goggle strap in place and you can put that on there too. And then of course you take the whole thing off and there's just two flat panels that you can put on so that you look nice and smooth as you're riding down the road without the brim on. So uh, the bottom line is this is a fantastic helmet. I really like it. Uh, I'm very pleased with it. I would absolutely buy another one and I absolutely without reservation recommend this helmet to anybody that likes the style uh, and the, the features that are on this. So um, I'll do a little bit of a close-up here. I am going to actually put the, make that a second video, uh, the visor and the pin lock and stuff. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of close-up and kind of let you look around the helmet a little bit, and I'll put up some of the specs.
come back, subscribe, hit the bell, Motorcycle Test Kitchen. Uh, we do product reviews like this from time to time, and I'm always happy to test out anything that you want to see tested out. So if you've got an idea for a review for Motorcycle Test Kitchen, throw it in the comments, subscribe, and we'll see you out there somewhere on the road. Uh, at least I will. Maybe you'll see me off-road. Well, you won't see me, but maybe you'll see somebody else. Anyway, ride safe.